close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay concentrated on the breath, focused on the breath, centered on the breath. As for other thoughts that are going through the mind, you just let them be off in the fringes. You want your center to be right here. Today is a salaha bucha. Bucha means to pay homage. A salaha is the name of the month in Pali. It was on this day that the Buddha gave his first sermon and got his first noble disciple as a result. The day in which he, as a rightly self-awakened Buddha, became complete. They had private Buddhas in the past who gained an awakening but then couldn't teach. But to be a real Buddha, full Buddha, you have to be able to teach others to gain awakening too, and that's what he had accomplished on this day. So we're paying homage to him for this event that happened in the full moon of what we call July and what they call the Salahat. Tonight we'll be having a candle circumambulation using flowers, candles, and incense. But that's what the Buddha calls homage with material things. There's also homage to the practice, and he said that's true homage. If you really want to show respect for the Buddha, you put his teachings into practice. He didn't gain awakening simply so that people would give him flowers and candles and incense. He gained awakening so that other people would be able to gain awakening as well. All that work he went through, all those many aeons, it was for this that we practice. So we're practicing generosity, practicing virtue, practicing concentration, meditation in general. That's the best way of showing our respect for the Buddha. Of course, this is something we do not only on this day or the other, we try to do it every day. Because the Buddha is a person worthy of homage. He found true happiness in a way that's totally harmless. He taught others how to do that too. As you respect your desire for true happiness, confirm that yes, you can do it. So because he has this respect, something worthy of respect inside us, that's why we have respect for him, why we pay homage. In a way where everybody benefits. So think of this as your practice. You're showing respect for the Buddha and all the people who helped keep the Buddha's teachings alive all these many thousands of years. And by practicing, you're joining them. It's a good group of people to be a part of.